Hello everyone, welcome back to Get Roy Tips and in this video I'm going to talk about how to fix Warhammer 14000 Space Marine 2 is having crashing issue it is not launching, won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and these kind of issue which is happening for many of the users and how we can fix this app. The first one you can try do a restart. Just go over here click on the start go over here and do a restart after restart try launch them. so this is actually a very basic step you can move to the next step that is all about most probably we will be launching the game from steam so we have to launch the game from the installation folder we have two methods first one navigate to this pc navigate to the game where the uh, to the local list where the game is installed go to local list c go to program file x86 go for steam navigate to steam apps go to common now from here keep scrolling down and navigate to warhammer somewhere else we'll be able to find space marine to open this and this is the folder so right now this is the application we have to launch the game from here or we can just go back to the steam go over here and right click and go to the properties go over here in the installer file and just click on the browse that will also take you to this particular folder if you check at the top this pc local disk c program file x86 steam steam amps common space marine 2 we can launch the game from here as well so both the steps are fine we can launch the game from here as well that's also fine next one is all about we have to launch the game from here we have to launch the game from the installation folder that is what we did also you can we have to run the game as administrator or you have to run the game in the compatibility mode. Both the steps are very important. So we need to navigate to the installation folder. So hence we have a shortcut, right click over here, go to the properties, install it file and just click on the browse. That will take you to this. Now from here you have to first select the application, right click over here, go to show more option, properties, go to the compatibility, click on run this program in the compatibility mode. You can either set this to Windows 7 and you can try. If Windows 7 is not working, you can try with Windows 8. You can go for apply and you can go for OK. Next one is all about we have to right click over here and go to the show more option, go to the properties, compatibility, click on run this program as administrator. That is also fine. Go to apply and go for OK. Any one of the th steps will be working in most cases. If not, we'll move to the next step. Next step is all about you have to launch the game and you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. I don't know how this is related but even it worked for many users. Let's take each chance that's probably to fix the issue. So just hit on the play button and press Alt and Tab. That even can sometimes fix the issue. If not, let's move to the next step. Next step is all about we have to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer and go to the documents. And over here, as you can see, we have folders for American Truck Simulator, Battlefield 2042, Dying Light 2, Maiden NFL 25, Once Human, and the GTA 5. So these are some of the favorite games of mine which I always used to play. When you started playing the game in the Warhammer, Warhammer and you started saving the game, you'll be having a folder separate for the Warhammer. You have to delete the respective folder. But keep in mind, when you do this, you will be losing all the progressions or save it of the games, but you have to start from the scratch. But even if it's fine, but even though the game won't be working fine, so that's what most important thing. So just delete it and once afterwards, try. Next one is all about, we have to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here and search for the control panel. Search over here in the control panel. We have to go over here and click on system and security. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Keep scrolling down and navigate to Warhammer. Just keep scrolling down and navigate to Warhammer over here. So somewhere else you'll be able to find. So the Warhammer is already added. Make sure the private and public both the block box the boxes are checked. So imagine the game is not here. If that is the case, what we have to do? Some users end up in this. Just click on the change setting. Go for allow another app. Go for browse. Navigate to this PC. Go to local disk C. Go to program file x86. Keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam. Go to Steam apps. Navigate to common. Now from here we have to navigate to the uh, game that is Space Marine 2. Just open this. Go for this particular one. Go for open and add. 
we'll be getting the error because the game is already added. So once the, it's added, just close everything, go back, try launch the game. Next one is all about, we have to unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with a lot of peripherals that even cause the issue because if I, I always love to play the game with the controllers. So if it's already connected when you're trying to launch the game, there might be an issue. So just unplug all the external devices, launch the game and try connect it back and try continue playing the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here and search for system configuration search for the system configuration over here and click on this one and go to the services go for uh, disable all go for hide all microsoft services and go for apply and go for ok they're gonna ask you for restart but the users are watching this you have to go for restart but i'm gonna go for exit without restart once afterwards just go back and try launching the game next one is all about nothing but we have to disable the steam overlay so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties now from here we have to enable this i mean we have to disable this try launch the game and after afterwards still if you are having the trouble i mean disable in the game and you have to try launch the game that's all we have to do afterwards try if still the issues there we can try this particular step which even worked for many users in my past knowledge that is given the command in the launch option we can try with the command dx11 if DX11 is not working, we can try with DX12. If DX12 is not also not working, we can try with D3, D2. We can try with D3, D2. This might work as well. So either D3, D2 might be working, DX11 will, will be working, or we have to work with DX12. We can try any one of these, and you have to try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to close all the overlay application. So just go over here in the game, Task Manager, go over here and as you, can, as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background and all these things are actually utilizing the performance when you're launching these kinds of games so that even result for the crashing so it is quite important from ourselves we have to understand that we have to remove the unwanted things for example like you know epic games launcher discord river tuner msa afterburner all these things can be removed from here once afterward just go back and try launching the game Next one is all about we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here and search for the graphics settings. Just click on this one and we have to add the game. So just click on the browse and navigate to the installation folder and most probably just go over here and select everything over here. Go to Steam, navigate to Steam apps and go to the common. Now from here we have to navigate to Space Marine 2 and open this particular one application and we have to add it. So the game is added, just click on the option from let Windows aside, change this to high performance and go for save. And once afterward, just go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about, we have to increase the virtual memory. So just go over here and we have to search for view advanced system settings. So just click on this one, go to the advanced and go for settings, advanced, go for change. Make sure this is blank and select the local disk. Go for custom size and set the value initial size, which is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size 3 times the total RAM. So we need to go to the calculator. So type the RAM. So I am, the RAM of my computer is 32 GB. I have to multiply it with 1024. That brings me this particular value and multiply it with 1.5. That brings me this value and we have to copy this. We have to paste it. Next one, maximum size is 32 GB multiplied with 104, which is a constant. We have to multiply it with 3, that brings to 98, 304, and we have to copy this and we have to paste it. So once after done with this one, we have to try whether after increasing the virtual memory, memory is the issue is solved or not. And still, if you're having the trouble, we can try updating the Windows. So just go over here in the search and make sure the Windows is up to date. So just go to the Windows update, make sure the Windows is up to date. Even after trying with this, if you find like there's still the issues there, you can try installing the, I mean, you have to try updating the graphics card. So just go over here for the NVIDIA. I'll be providing link for, uh, you know, AMD as well as I'll be providing a link for the Microsoft Visual C++. So you can either go over here and now from here, you can select everything like if the, if the product is GeForce, you can GeForce. If the product is any other thing, you can select the respective one. You can select the GeForce RTX based on your product. You can select the operating system and you can go for and go for start search. 
And right now, as you can see, most probably you'll be getting the released, uh, you know, the latest version, which is 516.94. You have to download this one, that is 2024. Download this one and install. Next one, if you're on the AMD, just go over here and select the graphics, select the model of a computer based on your configuration. And once afterwards, go over here and go for submit. It will be the most probably two options. If you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, you can download this one if the, based on your configuration of PC. And you can also try installing the Microsoft Visual C++. So just go over here and try installing if the system is based on x64. Download this one, which will be most probably system will be x64. And if you're on x86, you can download this one and install and try restarting. And that will be working fine as well. After trying with this, if the issue is still there and you're not able to fix this, so we have two most important steps. That is, we have to verify integrity of game file because if the games are corrupted, you will be having this issue. So just go over here in the game, go to the properties and go for the installed file and just click on the verify integrity of game file, which will be cross-checking every single file of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed from here itself. So we just need to wait this to reach and I'll be showing you two more steps that can be considered the most important when you're having these steps. So let's wait this to reach 100% and I'll be showing you what you have to do next.
once afterwards just close everything and try launch the game and the last and the least step is all about we have to uninstall and reinstall the game so just go over here go to the manage and uninstall the game for reinstalling back you should be going back and you have to uninstall the game and should not be installing back on the same local disk you have to try a new local disk so these possible workarounds can be done and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more these kind of videos see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye